So Saturday, 16th of May, first session post lockdown. So nice to be back. I'm actually up in the Cotswolds. As you can see, look how green it is. It's lovely. Um, not overgrown, very green. This is my camp. Look at that. See, lovely. Westerly's been blowing in here really strong today. It even went a bit northwesterly earlier, which is down into this bay to my left. There was only two others when I got here. There's only three of us for 45 acres. There is another guy that's dropped in on that far side now, so that's definitely four, but there was nine on here last weekend, so I'm told. And I know one of the six 18 came out on Wednesday and that's been the only one of the six to come out so it's, it's all to play for so really excited so nice to be back and just out as you can see it looks majestic Got two nights, first night tonight. I've dropped some baits out towards that left hand island at only 18, 19 wraps out. So not too far, I didn't want to go too far. With this westerly rolling over this way. So yeah, see what the night brings. So it's the middle of June. We got right stormy bad weather. And it's full moon tonight. And it's looking absolutely cock on for where, where I am. So I'm literally sheltered by the back of this wind that's been smashing a, a westerly. It's turned slightly today, but not a lot. And I'm in all this flat wall behind the back of here. And there was fish here yesterday. So, fingers crossed, I finally get a Cotswolds carp on the bank. I'll take anything right now, it'd be super cool. Watching these birds, it's like watching the RAF. As soon as a dragonfly hits the water, it's gone. Literally gone. That's even if it makes the water. I've had these birds over here, behind this wind, since nine o'clock this morning. It's now three o'clock in the afternoon and they've been going at it constantly.
so first week of July I'm back up in the Cotswolds I didn't have anything last night but I've come down into this corner this morning on the back of this wind and there are quite a few fish in here I've managed to sneak one rod out thankfully although the lake's really clear in a lot of places it is also really weedy and thankfully where these fish were fizzing up on the back of this wind it is nice and clear I'm really quite excited actually <laughs> literally threw everything on the barrow and got over here a bit sharpish So, it's been quite a morning, horseshoe, peg 26, um, I think it's called suicide, because it's quite a, it's quite a snaggy, quite a snaggy swim, but over here, just off this fallen willow, literally probably three rod lengths off it, where those two birds are now. I had five fish off that spot this morning. Three twenties and two doubles. And this fish still there now. So it's four o'clock in the afternoon now. Um, I've had six fish in total since nine o'clock. I've had five off that spot. And then I've had one, literally, on this margin. So they're both really awkward casts. But the fish are definitely over here. Happy days. Got another 20 hours as well. So see what happens. I've got to say as well, I just give the new 10 foot Gardner GTC rods an absolute beating on the last on the last fish. It this time. No, 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 we're not kissing. Alice, kiss it. it. You got it? Look, look down at them, look down. social Thursday morning and I've got one absolutely made up 
and uh, I'm lucky to have it as well because all that weed in front of me here, all of that out there and down here, I had to drag in with it. But she's down there. And it looks like a nice fish too. Nice and dark, nice and dark mirror. Absolutely banging it is. So, gonna go and wait Lou up in a minute. He's next to me. But yeah, it looks quite nice. Certainly meant to happen. Because literally it was underneath, underneath all of that weed.